Let me take you to the land of dreams. I want to take you to the land of dreams. Yeah. It's one of my earliest memories really is like I'm about three years old and I'm like used to get under the covers and I'd have I don't know I had like four or five little toys you know my special bear and um, we'd have we'd have a conference I, there was no words <laughs> but it was like this little kind of circle it's like a conference and then I closed my eyes and I knew something needed fixing about me and, and I think, when I wake up, it's all going to be fixed, and God's going to fix it, and I'll be a girl, because that, that'd be great. And um, it didn't happen. I was in this place, and it was like, like a hinterland of, of um, like between the water and the land was this kind of very kind of squishy, kind of, you could sort of walk on it, but it was like, it was a bit freaky because it was like, you know, am I going to go through? Two things, it wasn't going to get fixed, was one thing, but also it was a bad thing. You know, I was wishing for a bad thing. And that's what I kind of took in, I think, from, from the world. And it was that thing of like the inside and the outside. And then, then this sense of being kind of sealed in started to happen for me. As I grew up, it was like, Okay, I'm 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 the contaminant here. I'm the thing that is going to contaminate the world. Her soulfulness and her her inner core, you know, I think are it, it transcends gender. Wah 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 Jennifer has a very, very interesting story. So when Jen said, do you want to work on this record? I just said yes. Uh, I fucked the loop by doing what I just did, but I had to do it, so I did it. I ate oh, the, the switching off thing. I totally fucked the loop. That was the end of that loop. It'll never come back again. Every baby dies. It's but I had to hear that pop to get that reverb thing at the end. Yeah. And I just wanted to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. My element of it is collaborative. She walked in and said, you know, I don't want you to, I obviously don't really don't want you to just play. Whatever you're playing, you're also co-writing. I know that what you do is going to reshape the way I think about the pieces of music that I'm doing. Yeah, so I think music really saved me because it was the one it was the one place where I actually didn't feel really split. And um, on the one hand, there's this you know there's this young guy, you know, 16 years old, talented. Everyone says you know I was pretty good. I think I was good for my age. I could play really good. I was in bands. I was doing gigs in London. And then there was this other thing happening inside of me, which was like. 
fuck, you know, who am I? Because I'm still like the three-year-old kid, really. You know, I'm growing up into this, I don't know, aspiring rock star thing. And yet I'm really still this three-year-old kid who's like praying to God to be made, to be fixed. And, um, you know, I was growing up in the 70s and we had people like David Bowie came along, you know. Um, and he wasn't trans, but, you know, he was really playing with the whole gender thing. Uh, and I briefly worked with Mark Bowden, who was another one, you know, before he died. Uh, and he was very kind to me. And so I was starting to kind of get some modelling of alternatives, really. Um, it took me a, 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 lot, a lot of years to work it out for myself. And things had to change in the world, maybe, and that's kind of how it is. But um, music kind of carried me through. It carried me through the really crazy times because I could be myself and music had a kind of unity to it. So when I played, no matter how crazy I felt, no matter how split I felt in myself, it's like everything kind of came together. I watch it float across the ocean. I see it soaring overhead. I, I didn't know in those days how the, her connection to her voice was so strong. It's every colourful emotion It's all the love that's never said Yeah, so it was in, uh, in the late 80s, I think um, It was when I met David, David Torn And we, were, we did a world tour Would have been 88, so I would have been like 9 <laughs> It was around about that time and on that tour that I started to get this sort of sense of some sort of higher power. I am the ship, I am the shore. And I'll always be here if you call. Behind the pleasure and the pain. Oh, you'll never, never see me. I'll bring the fire and the rain to blow your troubles away. It was really on that tour was the time when I started writing um, and keeping a journal and starting to work out what kind of things were important to me. What did I want to write about? What did it mean to be me in the world? There's ideas on this album which, which go right back to that. Uh, and um, David was kind of in on that a bit, on that tour. When you're on tour, it's like you're in, you're in this kind of strange sort of bubble where all, all, you, all your basic needs are taken care of. You know, it's like, here's some food. Uh, here's, here's a bed to sleep in. And, oh, your luggage? Yeah, we can deal with that. You know, so you go into this sort of, sort of other state. We, we maintained our friendship for quite a few years from a distance. Uh, and I was going to England a lot. And then we just lost contact. Life goes on and, you know, we're both travelers. So, you know. You, you, you kind of, things just kind of disappear. Fucking, you know, crazy eagle up in the sky thing, you know. No eagles. No eagles. Oh, okay. Uh, crow. No, no, not ego. <laughs> eagle. Yeah, not ego. Eagle. Eagle, as in your national national bird. A bald ego. A bald ego. It was Facebook that that kind of we found each other again. I, I kept saying to people, where's Ian? What happened to Ian? And I thought, well, where is he? And then I talked to Jen, and she told me her story, and we went, oh, well, where are we? Well, okay, <laughs> so here we are. No, 
when she transitioned, people were saying to me, God, you must be really brave, that must be really difficult, oh, you're so wonderful to stick with it. And, and actually not, none of that was true, you know, because we were just like living in it. And, and it's okay, you know, we, we both managed it, we both handled it, and we wanted to be with each other. It was, I knew it was absolutely right. I knew before it was absolutely right. And, and she is much more comfortable, you know, in herself now than she was before. There's grief, you know, and, and actually I noticed it with other friends, you know, because we loved the person that she was. We were scared that she would become something else. And, 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 and then she didn't, you know, she changed like all of us change but she was still the same person that we loved. Please take me away to your land. It's like definitely her album. You know, it's it's so incredibly personal to her. It's it's really what she's about. How she connects with the world. You know? always a badass I could be the stars all rolled into one I could be straight I could be odd devil an angel demon or a god I think I see more a confirmation of the same person that I knew, a kind of more, a more con confirmed and confident version. I think, maybe it's not so weird, but it's like I can relate more now to my masculine energy. Once I got over the thing of like, I'm supposed to be having a sex change and I'm supposed to be like, oh, now I'll be like really feminine, you know, and it's like, no, fuck that, you know. I just am who I am. I mean, I mean that would be like really fucking sexist for a start. But I am, to the extent that I am a woman, I am the kind of woman that I am. You know, which is, I have a deep voice, you know, and I have a lot of masculine energy. I like power tools. <laughs> no. <laughs> stream follow every rainbow till you find your dream we've been making this album in Woodstock and it's been really good fun and, um, it's taken me 28 years really from from like when I first came here and sort of had this sort of dream but it took 28 years to to figure out what it was all about really so. It's just like that sometimes. Plus, life keeps on happening, isn't it? So, you know. So, uh, yeah. yeah. An old friendship renewed um, in a studio with music, and and it kind of flowering in this way was like, wow. Twenty eight years. So, um, me and Annie met about 30 years ago in the Penguin Cafe Orchestra. We've been making music together, like, ever since, which is amazing to work with someone for that long. Also on this record, I really wanted to get together my friends from the orchestra to play on 
couple of the tracks and, and we've done that, which is just, it's a lovely thing. Cecil, Cecilia B. DeMille is, is, is in action. Oh, we're on. You want to be? Hang on. Chorus, but you know the bit where you go to the full snare. Yeah. The second time you you, you left a hole. Like boom, boom, ba, did it, boom, boom, ba, ba, boom, ba. When you can't get, a, you left a hole around the vocal, which is very, very cool. The real generosity of spirit there. You know what it feels like when people are around you and say, "Hey, welcome. Come into this. Give me something." The transgender, you can't go to the bathroom. You're not allowed in either bathroom. That's the song. The song is like, I can't go to the bathroom. You can't go to the lake. I can't go to the bathroom. about feeling the beat it's about like it's it's the way it's the what i tell you what it is it's the way that people interpret time that's what it is, that's what it is. the crackling and, it's, and, and it's, we interpret it's time in 11 in 12 or 13 14. Um, it's blinking 16 is is blinking <laughs> Yeah, we, we've had a great time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss her. I'm gonna encourage her to make another record really soon. Okay, got it. I think the whole album is still being formed. I suppose I'm quite greedy, really. I want from the person that I'm working with. And I want everything to come through because I want to be able to choose later. That's the greedy bit. But I want the beautiful stuff. I want, I want the wounded animal. It's like, I want, I want all the dignity. I want all the beauty. I want all the, I want the anger. I want the confusion. David's kind of crazy stuff, you know. I, I love it all. Dave sits on piano and I may play on a drum and we'll try to make the music work. We'll try to just can't help thinking that if you were here with me I'd get all my thoughts in focus and play more excitingly I love you still I'm just emailing Annie because um, I can't remember what we did on this track and whether she played a trombone or what. So um, it gets kind of chaotic. <laughs> it gets chaotic when you have like thousands of tracks of audio. The best sessions have always been ones that were more similar, more family like. 
it's real, you know? It's like, it's like a real thing. It's real people in a real room having real lives and making music about those lives. Do it again! Cooperate! Sister keeps a candle burning, beacon for the love returning. So here we are, we're at Dreamland. Questions and need to belong. Asking is it the inside or outside that's wrong? In her heart lived songs that could never be sung. Dreams over before they'd begun. Born such a long way from her home As she lay there alone She would pray for relief In our hearts lived Songs that had never been sung Dreams over before they'd begun Born such a long way from her home And we'll dance and we'll play in the sun Mind, body and spirit as one Something's kind of got me here, you know, and it's really not me There's two crows just went across there there's some kind of higher power. There must be, because you know I would have screwed it up, and um, and I've tried to screw it up like many times, really. Um, but here I am. I'm making. I'm in a, a place that I love, with people that I love, whose work that I love, making the album that I really want to make at last, and that's incredibly cool, and and. Cool. I mean, it's like it's like my heart soars. You know, that's the truth. Um, it makes my heart soar, and um, and I hope that 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 is of some value. You know, that a person like me who starts out from being so isolated, you know, so kind of sealed in, you know, it's like it's like the world reached out to me. Some spirit in the world reached out to me. He said, "You're okay. You know, you can do this." And um, and we all can. You know, we're all we're all wrecked in the same vessel. <laughs> we are. We're all wrecked in the same vessel. And um, and the least we can do is kind of wave to each other.
I watch it float across the ocean I see it soaring overhead It's every colourful emotion It's all the love that's never said It's a supernatural network A mystical phone And everyone and everything is always at home Shaman in my head Listen to the voice that's breaking through Bringing you the black and white The in-between, the silver and the red The spirits of the living And the spirits of the dead Receiving loud and clear beneath the surface It's what the sun and moon and earth is Now that this old postmodern myth is getting hollow D, G. It knows an E. It's kind of schmaltzy. <laughs> Lovely. Great. I think you might. That might be it. Yeah, I think that's it. Wow. You're done. Well, for that track. Fit the name 